when we want to invest into any company, then we need to understand the financial ratios, the valuation ratios, the solvency ratios, all these ratios of a company very well. Today, here I will be discussing one of the main ratios known as debt equity ratio. Now, debt equity ratio is a very important component for any company because a high debt equity ratio would mean that the company has taken lot of debt to run its company. But it differs from sector to sector like the real estate sector, they really need lot of debt because they have to run a cycle of near around 3 to 5 years for producing one particular complex. So, debt equity ratio varies from sector to sector. But it is normally said that a debt equity ratio below 1 is a good component for any company. So, let us understand how to calculate debt equity ratio. So, for calculation of debt equity ratio, you have to divide total debt by the shareholders fund or the equity. So, total debt includes your long term borrowing as well as your short term borrowing and your total equity includes your owner's equity plus your reserves and surplus. So, these all things you can take it from the balance sheet. So, from this debt equity ratio, we have to understand some companies which are good in the terms of debt equity ratio and which companies are not good in terms of debt equity ratio. We will check out on the real estate segment three companies in which we will find out that which has got the lowest debt to equity ratio. So, today we will check out into DLF, Godrej Properties and Prestige Real Estates. So, when we check out on the Godrej Properties, so what we see here is that total debt to equity ratio of this company is 1.66%, so which is above the 1% prescribed limit and as we have discussed that it varies from sector to sector. Next, what we do is we find out that what does DLF has as its debt equity ratio. So, when we check out under the solvency ratios, we see that the debt equity ratio of DLF is 0.51%. Similarly, when we check out on the prestige, then we find that the debt equity ratio of prestige is under the solvency ratio it is 1.57%. So, that means that debt equity ratio of Godrej properties as well as prestige estate is higher than the DLF. So, among all of these three companies, only DLF's books are very well maintained and it is working properly in the real estate segment with less amount of debt and high amount of equity. So, that means this company is a better investment for an investor. But this is not the only metric for choosing your investment plan. For choosing your investment plan, you have to go through various other financial and fundamental parameters and financial ratios. And when all these parameters give you a positive response, then you can invest into this company. So, I hope you have liked this video and understood a bit about debt equity ratio. So, now if you want to know more about debt equity ratio, you can log on to our website blog.stockage.com and you can read through in entire detail and take your investment decision. So, trade right and sit tight with our Stockage app. Thank you.